All right, guys, so fat cat time. This is Alex's first full tear down and reassembly of a dirt bike. So normally he tears the bikes down and I put them back together. This is gonna be his first one that he uh, does all by himself. So this was also the first dirt bike he rode. So I'm gonna insert a clip of him crashing into some bushes. It was quite hilarious. Well, we're aiming him in the right direction. I mean, yeah. be all right. He's got this. Yeah. First dirt bike ride. Can you believe it? Oh, oh no. Oh no, let off the throttle. <laughs> Through the bushes. <laughs> Oh no! What's he doing, dude? A little bushwhacking? Oh, go that way! Go that way! <laughs> oh. He's got it! Not gonna do that again once it's once it's all minted up, so... Better run bikes now. Yeah, right? So we're gonna go ahead and tear this thing down to the frame. We're gonna honestly powder coat everything, make it look as brand new as possible and go from there. So let's get into the teardown. Can't wait to show you guys this thing when it's done. I mean, it's rusty and crusty and gross and we're gonna make this thing look brand new. If you guys haven't seen the ride video yet, check out the ride video. We took this thing out as it sits pretty much with bald, bald tires and a rusty, crusty chain and Drew was riding the hell out of this bike, just full send. It was awesome. It is rough, for sure. Rough, but all there. Guys are probably wondering what we're using to get rid of all this rust. This exhaust honestly didn't look like it was gonna come off. Everything is pretty nasty, but it came right off. A little bit of heat and open shut. Stuff's uh, pretty resistant to being flammable. Works really good. Definitely check it out if you haven't tried it yet. Nothing worse than snapping a stud off. Check the inside of the gas tank, see what she looks like. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll get in there after, after we flush it out, check for any rust, 
Usually these things rot out along the bottom, but we're gonna make sure that it's all good. Kind of sucks, we got some dings here. I'm gonna try to actually fix those. Pop them out, because this, this is supposed to be all blue and obviously the bodywork only covers here. This is the uh, obviously the original color. I already shut it off. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, hold on a sec. You're in the middle of the pliers. A little dirty. Cool, keep rolling. Keep on rolling. All this hardware is going to end up getting replaced. Luckily, there's not a whole lot going on on this bike, so not hard to figure out where everything goes. They're going to label and bag everything after. Should slide straight back. Unless there's a clip underneath. Nope, just a grommet. Dirty ass grommet. There we go. Plastic's in honestly really great shape other than the spray paint job that's on it. Yeah, so this will come out after. We'll slide it down through the subframe. Wall in the front. I cannot believe these studs actually came out. Here, Alex, 10 mil on the other side for the skid plate. 10 mils are here. baby peg. Thing's pretty much the size of my thumb. <laughs> Imagine riding this thing, dude, with these tiny-ass little pegs. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, we did, but... On a regular basis, I'm okay. I'd like to say I'd make new pegs for it, but I probably won't. It's amazing, though. These bolts come out fairly clean. Bike looks a little crusty, but... Not a lot of issues with bolts yet. Honda, they're always smart. So that's the regular bolt there. They have one with the torques right here because you can't get the regular socket on there. Pretty cool.
Yep. Sun bolter right here. Take an eight ball. Pop this side off. That'll come right out. Pretty sweet, minimal effort, one-handed, holding the camera. This thing's coming right apart. Alex, throw a hand on that lever. Spike is definitely going to clean up nice. Pretty amazed by all the hardware just coming out super easy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Should split apart. Top one's still held. See if we can just slide it apart. Cool. Let's throw them back in. Beautiful. I want to try to save these. These are the OEM. Back when they cared, they made actual nice cable holders. And all these little tabs on the frame, we're going to try to not break them. You can bend them. You can bend them out a little bit. It's fine. But take a. There you go. Yep. Just like that. Just preserve them. Nothing more annoying than when those break off in the sandblast cabinet. Believe it or not, we would weld them back on. Yeah, so that nut should be loose, so that should slide through there, straight that way. Uh, there you go. That will come right off all the way to the end of the cable. Save that. Just stick it back on, yeah, back on the cable, and we'll just keep it all together. Okay. Some of these parts can't get. So we're gonna try to preserve them as much of them as possible. Favorite kind of project? You take something that looks like trash and just make it brand new again. Alex, can you just take a picture of right here? Just make sure everything's... I want to make sure we run the wiring all the same.
Gotta love these drum brakes. Gotta love these drum brakes. If they're adjusted right and clean, they actually work decent for the size bike this is. Yeah, it does. You knew that. Actually, you probably didn't. You're probably just kicking it, kicking it without it. Yeah. I it thought. Up every time, though. I thought you knew. Started up every time first kick, though. All right. Honestly, for the condition it looked like it was in versus how it actually runs and feels, definitely a good riding bike. Rusty, crusty over here. Gotta get this bracket off. Can't tell you guys how annoying it is holding a camera and using my one hand, but it's all good. Someday when we're cool, we'll have somebody to take videos of us working. That comes right out. See if you can spread this off real quick. This guy right here, might have to take a screwdriver to it. Should be able to just gently pry it apart. We'll save that. Okay, so let's slide this thing up and through. There you go. Beautiful. Get all these in a bag, get them labeled. Very important to save stuff. Like I said, you can't get a lot for these. Just gonna set it right here for now, label it after. Yeah, guys, this is our life, listening to milling machines all day. It's awesome. We love it. But next shop's going to have a separate room because we're getting to the point where it's hard to even take videos because they're running nonstop. Everything really is in good shape on this bike. I'm just impressed with it. Kickstart actually feels, when you move it, it's super tight. All those cables get tighter over time, not looser. There she is. So do you want to flip a coin and make a bet and see if this uh, pivot bolt's going to come out? I mean, judging by everything else coming apart i think it's gonna come out got a little bit of grease on there from 30 years ago Let's see what happens i just hope the axles come out that can really mess your day up when your axle's stuck I've had that happen a couple times what do we got it's a little bow jangered there. a little bow jangered oh my god look at this okay it's all right we can work with that There's a little green something something on there. I don't know if it's Loctite. 
little Arizona corrosion. Sure. Okay, cool. Any of you guys that buy these stands from Harbor Freight, definitely want to make sure you put something in there to block it because you can set it at whatever height you want. The thing is going to slowly creep down on you. Hate to see it like fall over. Let's put some one by two. Uh, tube in there works pretty good scrap metal always like to use the scrap metal what's up yeah, he's got his master link on backwards too. That's a big no-no. But didn't come off on us and uh, looks like it's rusted on anyway. Yeah, just hit the corner of the top part. All right, it's when you start seeing two or three master links, you get scared. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put a new one on it. I don't know what they had going on here. Somebody got excited with the uh, stick welder. We're gonna fix all this. Get that all cleaned up. So we got a little blue left on that spring. Here I am, doubting this bike, thinking that's not gonna come out. There actually is a little grease right there. Oh no. Nope. This axle is definitely seized in there. You can see the threads are buggered anyway. So we're probably gonna end up making a new one for the bike, being we have a lathe. So, go get my air, air chisel. That is in the left cabinet. Should be hiding somewhere. This guy right here, so you just blast it. I would throw the nut on, just keep the nut so it's overhanging a little bit. We'll just let that center it up, because we're going to replace it anyway. Not a big fan of Mac tools, but this thing hasn't let me down, I guess. Got that nut floating over here. Send it right through the center. I knew that was gonna happen. It's coming at least. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I just keep going and then we'll just try our best center that up. Just take that off and then just go slow with it. There it is. Screwdriver. Just grab onto it like a man. Yeah, you gotta grab onto it like a man and just give it a tug. Kind of twist. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. All right, wheels off. Don't get it brakes off. Slide it right back. There she is. Oh, good time to check the old brake shoes out. 
Not too bad, even though they didn't work too good. Cool. Well, we'll get a nut, we'll choose the threads. If the threads aren't looking good, we'll make a new one. I'm sure we can clean that up. It's not too bad. Yep, sometimes you just can't swing your purse at it. You gotta yarn on it, get it apart. Beautiful. Cannot believe that came out like that. That is a beautiful thing. I should just slide straight back once that spring's off. It's 
spring puller. Oh, you got it. You got it. Dude, we're going to make a bike mechanic out of you. <laughs> it's happening. This is not a car. It's a dirt bike. <laughs> a little crusty. A little crusty. It's okay. Nice. 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 So this whole assembly deal, we'll unhook the wiring, take some more pictures. Um, we'll get it basically dropped backwards out of here, get that out of the way, and then we'll get the shock off, pull the motor out.
Mitchy Ann's working on this. What? So get Mitchy Ann's. Did I just hear you squeal? No, we're not going to can.
Not done yet. 
Christ. Give me a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Should be under that brake right there. Grab the bike. It's a little sticky, but it's coming. One handed holding the camera. One handed holding the camera. You're gonna have to tap it. You got it pretty far though. Either that or just jiggle the bike. Now you guys are probably wondering, we've got nice bike lifts, but this thing is way too yucky for a brand new bike lift. You can see all the dirt that already fell off this thing. So, so we're working all barbarically on the floor, but it's not a big deal. We have fun doing it this way too. Love tap. Is it bigger than the axle? Let's go long, long number three Phillips tap the end of it in there, or that T-handle. Yep. Love your hammers. Yeah, keep going. Bike might fall, might not, we'll find out. That's why he strapped it. All right, wheels out. Look at that. Pull that brake drum. Cool. That's pretty cool, I don't drums. <coughs> All right, a couple 12s, probably a 19 on the top. Could be bigger. That's a 19. Dude, we got tools everywhere. That's what happens when you work on the floor. You're stepping on them, you're tripping on them. Always a good time working on the floor. RJ's over there loving life, making an airbox for a YG. The wife's figuring out getting a spinning machine for wheels. Your phone's over here. I got the 19 right there. Take the top off. Should slide right down. I don't want to take my top off. Don't take your top off. Oh man, even with all the grimy ass paint. Cool. Yeah, just tighten that back in. There's an O-ring to keep the oil from squirting out. You might not be able to bottom it, but yeah, there you go. I don't know, the, the sticker's gonna hold you up. Go back up. Yeah, it is. Uh, California registration sticker. The old Cali sticker. <coughs> Just enough glue to slow you down a little bit. Jesus Christ. It's stuck. Fly head. I'll pry on it, will you? Beautiful. Just enough glue to ruin your day. Yep, just enough. Well, guys, we made a fucking mess here. We're gonna get cleaned up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna put a link to the next video on this video when we have it done, but for now, check out some of our other content. So we're gonna start cleaning this thing up and uh, you guys will see that in part two of the video. Um, we're gonna get this thing sandblasted. We powder coated in house too, so we're gonna get everything powder coated, get all the parts, get a big parts list going for this thing and get them coming and uh, get this thing put back together. Got any words? Buy some parts.